hello everyone uh, so yeah we know that uh, for our ibm app connect product version 13 has been released and that is the latest version and uh, there is a very important concept called global cache uh, in our app connect so i want to cover a topic where i want to showcase how to set up global cache from scratch and also i want to showcase a use case where i'm going to store my data in global cache and retrieve uh, it during a transaction so let's begin so for a start we want to just talk a brief on the global cache concept so basically why we use global cache is to store those data that is shared across multiple integration nodes and also which is very frequently being used in all the message uh, all the message flows and in all the transactions so instead of reading that data from database and tables it would be great to have it in a cache and then we can use it from cache by retrieving it this way it will improve the performance optimize our code and can be reused in most of the transaction so when it comes to global cache when we do a setup the infrastructure setup we should know that it consists of a catalog server and a container server so the catalog server actually the catalog server concept is that it is like a directory to locate our cache data which is getting stored in the container so you can use catalog server to recover data in case data in case of any failover and also like for a global cache setup a single catalog server is required and it's mandatory but uh, for high availability like a multiple global cache um, sorry multiple catalog server can be configured so yeah and then comes the container server so a container server what it does is like for your infrastructure like if you have multiple integration server so you can have each integration server as your container server so each integration server that is in your uh, integration node can participate in caching and can act as a container server so in this way the data can be distributed for uh, load balancing and high availability and then uh, also like if any container is failing then with the help of catalog server you can recover the replica store so yeah this is the basic concept of catalog and container server so and the difference is that if you see catalog server that it maintains the cache data and directory container server it actually stores the cache data and uh, yeah you can see the major key difference this can also come like some people can ask you and then you can uh, respond this way okay so uh, now when it comes to the setup um, we can go to the IBM documentation So earlier there were lots of uh, queries and uh, commands involved while configuring the global cache so but now uh, this is very simple since uh, we have the yaml file so you can use the yaml file to enable your global cache uh, how you can do this is like okay so this is my is integration node here let me let me open the UI as well also the console so this is my console so if i see i have okay, let it run here so yeah i have one integration server only inside integration node 
so let me uh, so I have the setup already done so I'll go step by step the process which I did and also if you go to the installed location where you have your ace installed so you will see uh, in server not in server but common not here as well i guess in server only like you can go to program files ibm ace server and then sample and here you see global cache so here you can see uh, the type of uh, implementation which you want to do as per your requirement so for me right now in my setup i have only one integration node and inside that i have one integration server running on it so the approach i'll go with is one catalog and one container so if i open the template so this is my template which i need to add in the yaml file so now i'll go to the yaml file of my particular integration server so you can have your yaml file in if you are using windows it will be in your program data ibm mqsi and then in the components and then integration node name inside server you will file your find your yaml file so if you open your yaml file then you can simply replace the content of global cache this will be initially commented out so you need to replace this content and uh, then save it make sure that the port which you are using some other application or some other program is not using this port and it's available so this make sure that you follow the identification and uh, the spaces and everything is properly aligned save this and then uh, also one important thing which i found out is that in ace 13 you need to make sure that your integration server is not using java 17 because global cache is not yet uh, usable in java 17 and java 17 does not support it so to make your integration server uh, point to java 8 you have to run this command so that your integration server points to java version 8 and then after running this command you need to restart your integration uh, so for now if i run this I'm not sure that it will show it or not because yeah for me it's already configured but let me see what happens So yeah, uh, like uh, as I said that I have one integration node and one integration server. So I went with the approach of only configuring one of my YAML file with the global cache changes. If you have multiple, then you can follow the other templates. Multiple is actually a good uh, example of a setup such that you can have failover and uh, yeah, in case of disaster recovery. So this is just for my development purpose. I've done this setup. So yeah, coming back to this. Okay, yeah, it's showing some kind of Java error. But okay, then let me restart my node. Okay, so my integration node has started and then uh, now I will run this command to check my 
catalog and container so yeah now i can see that my there is one container and yeah one host so also i will try to see the map sizes okay so as of now i have nothing in the global cache you can see that yeah does it only it is only displaying the system cache client and server so yeah so this is how you can enable your global cache and let me talk about the use case in the next video thank you